nice welcome back to Tom Mods Things. Uh, really exciting day today. So uh, we went over yesterday to uh, Andy at Raffa Masters to um, pick up the uh, rear deck lid that he's finished. You've only had it for a week, and uh, I mean he's, he's done done some crazy stuff with that to uh, to get it to work. I mean I don't envy him in the slightest having to try and put wrap onto the uh, crazy shapes that are on there, but we'll show you what it looks like, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so I'm just going to flip the rock camera around, and we're just going to get right into it. All right. So just as the uh, the reveal of the car. Boom, absolute money shot. Look at that, that is looking absolutely epic. Like, what a car now, like the whole thing just works um, with all the bits. It's funny, since I've posted a picture up, I've had uh, people getting back in touch that have kind of been slating it all the way through really to some degree, um, going, ah, oh, it's rubbish, doesn't look right, ah, oh, he's ruined it, this, that and the other, and kind of go, actually, uh, that looks all right. That doesn't look too bad, but yeah, I mean, I don't know about you, but that is exactly what I had in my head when I sort of imagined that this was what it was going to look like. Um, so yeah, so this is the 993 deck lid that I've uh, uh, custom made to fit onto the um, original Cayman deck. So as you can see where the uh, seam lines are and stuff, this, this extended way down before and I cut it all back, merged it all in so everything kind of tied in nicely with all those edges and stuff. Um, and then all the way around the outside, I think it did a pretty good job to be honest for first first piece of uh, sort of uh, using fiberglass and body filler and stuff really. I've never really done it before, so pretty happy with how that's come out. Um, you'll notice that with the uh, grill on the top, uh, you can see through at the moment, that is gonna be um, have some tight knit black mesh, the same as I've got on the front bumper underneath, so you won't be able to see behind it. Uh, would have been nice to get rid of this, and I think I might do something slightly different with this, with maybe some big scoops, and then um, air intake into potentially something that's in the works at the moment that will be hanging out the back each side uh, but that'll be for another time um, but yeah so that'll cover it all up which will look great but yeah I think uh, really I mean it's crazy there's and he's had to do it in a few different pieces but I mean bloody hell like to be able to get that whole piece with all this sort of crazy curvature all the way around wrapped so you can't really tell um, until you get like really up close I think uh, done a uh, done a damn good job um, so yeah we went with a purple deck as well you'll notice that this is now purple uh, not black as it was before with the uh, the carbon uh, effect canards things on the side still need to um, redo these uprights but I've tidied them all up and got them all matching and sprayed in black so you can't tell for the moment uh, but as this whole project has been it's a uh, it's uh, a sort of a as you go project um, and then yeah and then we left the ducts on the inside to be black as well um, sort of looks, looks uh, pretty good really with the black on the inside and then I think I might um, change how the grill is on there and put uh, sort of a 3d printed design piece that kind of shrouds the inside looks kind of similar to those infinity lights that you can see where it's like oh you get it on like house mirrors where um, it looks like everything's kind of going off into um, into sort of infinity really into the distance so maybe do something similar style on that uh, but yeah and then looking with those wheels and stuff I mean that whole thing just looks looks like it was meant to be now um, yeah really damn cool um, got a few few bits and bobs that I need to finish up um, just with getting some of these uh, uh, refitting the gaskets and everything now um, but all the wheels are on which is good because I've got the uh, front wheel sorted um, the one thing I have noticed which I'm gonna need to address is uh, let me go around the other side and just uh, show it quickly so you can see the uh, kind of gap here between the um, tire and the fender now I don't mind this too much it kind of matches the front and I think overall it looks it looks okay as a uh, as a car I don't want it like uh, I don't necessarily want it right now as like fully stanced but if you keep that in mind and then we come around to the other side um, you'll notice and I'll try and get the uh, light up a bit but this side is uh, is actually about a centimeter taller maybe even two centimeters so as you can see there like that rear um, on that back side just here just looks out of place with the front and I'm not sure why it is because the kits are fitted um, to the same spot on each side and when you look at it from the back um, the kind of level of everything matches but this side sits slightly higher so I don't know whether it's I've got a problem with one of the shocks but um, I need to um, I need to have a look into that because at the moment it looks a little bit janky um, on this side so I'll just have to park this side up against walls that shows and stuff for the moment. Um, and then yeah and then a picture from the front as we come around here yeah so that's kind of that is the shot that one there so yeah I'm thinking um, 
so yeah, so I'm thinking maybe uh, coilovers, maybe air ride. I haven't quite decided yet. I mean, air ride would look kind of cool, but um, obviously it's quite a bit more money um, involved. And I'm trying to do this relatively uh, kind of on a on a budget of sorts. Um, all these bits are second hand, and everything that's been built on here is all bits that I've just like nabbed off of eBay on the cheap and stuff, uh, or designed and made myself like the fender vents. So um, even the bumper was uh, second hand, and this, that, and the other. So. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to be spending huge amounts of money on uh, suspension at this point. Um, but yeah, just to kind of go around some of the bits. So um, you'll see over the past like uh, eight months when I've been building this, what we went with was a base V1 Pandem over fenders. So that's these bits here, this side skirt, this over fender here, and then the um, rear bumper is V1 as well, the bit with the um, duck tail on it, as you can see just here. So that's all V1 uh, Pandem kit. Um, and then what I've done um, over that time time is uh, I already had the GT4 front bumper that I really like the look of um, and, but I needed to create these pieces here as you see with the little indicators um, to blend the kit kind of into the GT4 because there wasn't anything there before and it would have just cut it short and um, on the actual Pandem V1s and the V2s they have this piece molded into the bumper so obviously I didn't have that so we made these pieces which I'm sort of fairly happy with at the moment um, with the integra integrated little sequential indicators as well um, which is another thing that doesn't come on the Pandem kits um, whether it, I think it's because they just don't it's not required in like I think the US and Japan and stuff for that sort of requirement of side indicator but in the UK you have to have them so um, that's what those are on there and we've got um, the uh, modded headlights that I did splitting them apart I used to do this for other people but um, don't necessarily do it anymore um, so yeah split the headlights apart painted all the internals black black vinyl rim around the outside just to uh, cap it all off and get the style correct and then uh, I think they look pretty good with the uh, overall look of the car silver and silver and stuff all kind of the little lights to kind of match uh, then we've got the controversial fender vents. Um, I absolutely love these, um, not just because I designed them, but I mean, that's the whole reason I designed them is because I just like the look of them. Um, yeah, and they just vent through into the wheel wells um, through holes, but look pretty aggressive. And I think really with the whole package, it just kind of works. Uh, then we've got uh, carbon little inlays, and these are genuine carbon um, little stick on parts. Got given these as a gift, that was great. Uh, then we've got side skirts. Now these I'm probably going to change, but for the moment I think they look okay. But these are actually uh, like universal eBay special um, side skirts that I've kind of cut up and adapted to fit the uh, the kit, uh, would you believe? So people are asking me about these all the time. These cost, what, 20 quid or something off of eBay? Absolutely bargain. So this is what I mean. It's sort of, uh, relatively speaking, there's uh, budget components and stuff on this. Uh, carbon side grills, that was another component I got secondhand. Got them really cheap off of somebody in Germany that didn't want to run them on his car I uh, would never ever pay the full price of those which is like crazy money but um, when they're dirt cheap you can't 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 knock it really and it's the sort of things where you just build it up over the sort of five years I've owned this car um, then going on to the rear as I said got the uh, 993 rear wing uh, grill setup uh, custom made with all the bits to get it molded into the um, rear deck lid um, on top of that sits a gram styling um, I think it's a 68 inch cross um, with uh, the end plates that I've kind of designed up and then made, um, including the uprights as well myself. Uh, then we've got uh, LED rear lights on here. Again, another second hand component, just picked up of some member that was uh, a previous Cayman owner that was just getting rid of them um, on the cheap as well. Another bargain, which is good. Um, and then exhaust pipe infinity, but we're, we'll ignore that for the moment because uh, that's going to be changing pretty soon. Uh, then the, probably the only real thing that I've not bought um, second hand are the wheels. Uh, so these are uh, Tacoa forged uh, wheels. They're based in Chippenham. Um, these are currently, I think, the only set of this style um, in existence from them. So uh, they are, let me see if I can get this right. They're nine inch on the front by a minus five. And they are all 20 inch in diameter as well. And then the rears, are 12 inch wide with a minus 55 offset, I think, um, something on those lines. And then they're both wrapped in Michelin uh, Pilot Sport 4Ss. Um, but yeah, I wanted, um, as I said on a previous video, quite a lot of these Pandem kits, because you can fit 14 inch rears on these, um, on some of the Pandem bills. But what I never quite liked about that was when you're in like this angle, 
on those cars you don't get to see the center spokes because they get pushed so far back um, with so much more lip poking out here so um, what I wanted is to kind of add more material on the back to push the face forward so that when you're in this angle as it is here um, you get both the front and rear wheel and you can see all the details otherwise it just ends up looking like a bit of a void at the back in my opinion so um, that's why that is and we got good old status error uh, banner across the top custom made as well so that the uh, color matched this is awesome because let's see if I can wipe it down see it's got this like a uh, sort of really subtle patterning underneath as well all the way across and then uh, this piece kind of I think it just with the whole sort of Japanese styling type thing just matches uh, everything else that's going on um, so yes that kind of sums up exterior components um, then interior wise what we've got is uh, Sparco Rev 2 seats uh, these are because it's a daily driver you'll see standard looking a bit tired a bit of duct tape and stuff i mean this is the way that this car goes this is the whole point in this is that it's a daily driver but also it's got a bit of show about it and you can just uh take it around enjoy it and not have to have it left in a garage all the time not really getting used so anyway so you see some bleached as well because i've had them in a while um anyway so yeah sparko rev two seats um pdi mounts that i've just painted yellow for the moment probably gonna go a different color because these don't quite go with uh the overall style now they look a little bit out of place even with some of the yellow accents inside but anyway we'll address that at another point um you can just see their uh purple seats as well uh because andy wrapped these as well for me so that when you catch it from the back uh, you can't really see it through the window but you catch the purple um, which i thought was really cool uh then interior wise we've got uh these sort of 3d printed um uh sort of fake well i say fake everyone calls them fake but they act exactly like the normal um door handle but they're designed like the cayman r door pulls uh and controversial everyone always bangs on about whether they're uh whether they're a good thing to have or not i like the look of them so who the hell cares um then we've got a load of carbon trim so these are all genuine carbon bits um that i've got for this same on the other side and then uh trim all the way across as well uh royal steering wheels did the steering wheel that's here with the yellow stitch in and the uh the top bit then we've got he also did the um handbrake cable there uh, he did also do the gear stick and stuff but i've since changed that to this uh max power era sparco uh sort of machined aluminium uh, gear stick, which I quite like. I mean, it's a bit silly, really. It doesn't really need to be there, but um, I just quite like the look of it. Um, and then like a few things like Pioneer head units, which I think everyone should do really on these cars because the original head unit is awful. Um, and then, yeah, really, uh, that's kind of where we're up to. There's loads of little bits and stuff all the way around it, but um, that's kind of the majority of it. Um, as I said, main things that are gonna be happening now is um, I need to sort out the ride height on the back and the fitment side of things so whether I get some BC racing coilovers or something and then um, do it that way not too sure but that could be a good route to go uh, I want to build a front splitter for the front and at the same time I'll probably do the side skirts and then a big rear diffuser as well um, exhaust pipe there's some stuff in the works with that that's going to be pretty mental uh, if we manage to pull that off um, and now I've got to also go now it's at this stage and um, fit my underglow again so yeah it, it, it did have uh, underglow previously took it off while I was doing all of the kit and taking off all the old stuff um, that I had on before um, so yeah we're going to crack on and get that back on the car um, so we can uh, annoy a few more people at, at shows and stuff uh, but yeah I'm really 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 happy with how this is looking at the moment I mean um, this is exactly what I uh, wanted it to be um, all the way through and what I kind of was telling myself it would turn out like at the end. Uh, it's taken a while, <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, but um, it's nice to see it finally uh, finally come together. So yeah guys, so that's a, uh, a quick uh, run round of the car where it is at the moment. Just showing a few of the bits that we've been doing over over the past uh, months and so. Um, for any of the new people that join in, because I know there's a video that I did a little while ago about um, kind of where I got up to and there's quite a few things that have changed since then and some more things that are going to be happening as well. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for, for more bits and bobs. This definitely isn't the end. Uh, it's only the beginning. And, uh, and yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. So yeah, see you later.